everyone and welcome back to my channel. I always sound really awkward when I open these up. Also, the weather outside is raining and windy so I don't know if you'll be able to hear me but we'll make this quick because it is freezing. Because the weather is so... Eh. And because it was requested from... It would have been the Q&A. As you can tell by the title, it is... The Saddle Review thing in the bob. So the saddle that I got was a, but this was brand new, Bates Caprilli Post Contact Jumping Saddle in 16 and a half black. And I think that's all there is that's needed to be said about it. We tried multiple different saddles when we were looking for one and this one was the last one that we tried obviously it was about the seventh or eighth saddle that we actually tried and the thing with this one is we weren't allowed to try it on him or to do it up or for me to ride in it so it was a very large expensive gamble so this is the saddle the thing with Splash is he is bum high, so his bum is higher than his withers. Can you see it there? You can see it a bit better there. And because of that, you don't have a saddle that's fitting properly. You're going to be pushed down onto his forehand more, which means he's going to be on the forehand. And it's going to be harder for him to work. It makes my job a lot harder. So there was that situation that we had to overcome. And the second one was how short coupled he is, so from there, obviously to there, it's quite a short amount of space and when you, I'm not going to get into like the details of it because if you want to know how to fit a saddle you can look it up and all that, but basically one of the things that you need, well there's quite a lot of things, but one of the things that you have to be aware of is making sure that the panels of the saddle don't go too far back and so you don't want them to pass the last rib which is about there -ish. so that's a really kind of short amount of space for you to be able to sit a saddle and my big booty this is the closest one that we could find that fitted that fit the best the other thing that we had to cater for was my short midget petite fetusness splash is 153-ish so 151 around there and I'm 159, 160, 158 depending on my mood yeah so I'm around there so my knee to my ankle is longer than it than my hip to my knee if that makes sense so you've got to make sure that the knee roll whatever you want to call it is not too far forward and with a lot of jumping saddles they cater for the taller riders because that's the stereotypical ideal build of a rider. So I could not have a saddle that was too forward cut. One, because I wouldn't fit it and two, because it would just be wrong and it would mean that I'd have to sit further back on him and it, it just wouldn't work. And I also needed a deeper seat rather than a really flat seat. Positives, it fits me and it fits Splash and it's the best thing that we can try. We've tried, I don't even know, we've tried, basically we've tried all the saddles that are out our way. And we've had them shipped in from the North Island as well and this was the only one that's actually fitted him. So it's still in the process of being moulded to us so obviously the leather, this leather by the way, isn't like Man, I've got dirty fingers. Ignore that. Obviously the leather isn't moulded and it's still kind of stiff. But I really like it. And it's very comfortable. It's like floating on the air. Oh, it is also here. So the panels aren't flock. They are filled with air. The one thing that I do not like about the saddle is how small their like, knee block is. Like if you look at the calf blocks, they are huge in comparison to that. I just really like it and I'm glad that I finally have a saddle that fits and it means I can ride and I can jump and not have to worry about anything. Um, my favourite part about it 
well, this is more like looks wise, is the nameplate on the back of the saddle that I really want to get engraved, but I ain't got no money. And I just want to say I'm not bragging about the saddle. I want to thank my mum so much for the saddle because she bought it so willingly for me knowing that it was the closest that we're going to get to perfection for me and him and just being just so amazing with it all so thank you mum I truly honestly really appreciate it and especially because on a lot of my videos from a while back I was getting not hate but just a lot of people were picking up on how short my stirrups were and that was because the saddle that I was in, your typical jumping saddle, and it was very forward cut, and I'd say it was probably 17 and a half, 18 inch. So it was too long for him, and the knee roll was too far forward for me. So in order for me to fit the saddle, I had to put my stirrups up really short to get my knee into the right space to be able to use the saddle. But in doing that, as you could see, my stirrups were really short. And also on one of the videos that I was using that saddle in, I was on an 18 hand horse. And me being a midget, I'm going to look like my stirrups are way too short anyway. So, yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Next week's video, um, I have two possibilities for it. But either way, I'm going to film both of them. And right now I am on school holidays. So I have two weeks off from school. And then it is my last term ever for high school. I'm not ready to be a grown up. If you are looking for a new saddle, I really do recommend these saddles, especially if you have the same struggles as I do as a rider and as Splash does. I'm either thinking of doing a weekly vlog or a updated morning routine. I've done one morning routine and it was sucky as. I'm thinking of doing, if I do a morning routine, do like a school morning routine because I ride before I go to school. Yes. That is my plan, that is my video. I still do not have an outro or an intro, and I still do not have my life sorted, but that's okay. That's what life is, life is a journey. And I'm in a really weird mood and I need to stop. Okay, bye.